In 1965, 17-year-old high school student Randy Gardner stayed awake for 11 days. That's no sleep, no napping, no dozing for 264 hours to be exact. The effects on his body were fascinating to scientists and helped more discoveries to be made on why sleep is so important for the human body. Lack of sleep is used as a form of torture for prisoners and bad guys. And there's a reason why. The body reacts so severely to lack of sleep, it can cause us to literally go insane. My name is Sarah Jeffries. I'm a registered nurse here in Los Angeles, California with experience in ED nursing and education and sleep therapy. Scientists say that adults need seven to eight hours of sleep per night and kids need around 10 hours of sleep per night. But why? Well, in short, we need sleep to repair ourselves and keep our immune system strong. At night when we sleep, our bodies get a chance to recharge themselves and our cells get a chance to clean up those toxins in our bodies that we make every day. But why can't we do this during the day? Going back to Randy and his sleep experiment, he did this sleep experiment with scientists to help figure out what goes on with the brain. And he did this under observation and he did it without any stimulants, which is amazing how he did it. So let's go over day by day and see exactly what happened to him. By day two, he had difficulty focusing his eyes and he had signs of astereognosis. That means difficulty recognizing objects by touch. So if you've got your eyes closed and you had banana in your hand, he had no idea what it was. By day three, he was moody and he had some signs of ataxia. That means inability to repeat simple tongue twisters, such as she sells seashells on the seashore, he could not say that. By day four, he was irritated and he was uncooperative, they said. He had an uncooperative attitude and he also had memory lapses and he had difficulty concentrating. Garner's first hallucination was that a street sign was a person followed by a delusional episode in which he imagined that a famous footballer was after him. On day five, he had more hallucinations. They reported that he saw a path extending from the room in front of him down through a quiet forest Forest. One thing about these hallucinations on day five is that he recognized that the visions were illusionary in nature. On day six, his speech was slowing down and he had difficulty naming common objects. On day seven and eight, he was still reported as being irritated, irritability they said, and his speech was slurring and he had increased memory lapses. Let me know in the comments down below if you've read about this story or you've heard anything different. I'd love to know. By day nine, he had episodes of fragmented thinking and frequently beginning a sentence, but then not finishing it. Day 10, he was paranoid. In the notes, they focused on a radio show host who Gardner felt was trying to make him appear foolish because he was having difficulty remembering some of the details about his experiment. By day 11, he was expressionless. His speech was slurred. He had to be encouraged to talk to get him to respond at all. And his attention span was very short. His mental abilities were so diminished. They said in a few of the tests that they were trying out on him to count backwards from 100. He did it a few times and then he just stopped. And they asked him, why did you stop? And he said he'd forgotten completely what they just asked him to do a minute ago. So he couldn't remember what he was supposed to be doing. Although Gardner recovered without long-term psychological or physical damage, for others, losing short eye can result in hormonal imbalances, illness, and in extreme cases, even death. I would not recommend anybody try this. In fact, the World Guinness Book of Records actually took it out of their records in case anybody did try it because it's so dangerous. If you want to get the best night's sleep ever, click here where I give you tips on what to do.